All right, so if you hadn't seen it, which I guess everyone has, Matthew Vanderbilt has released his power data on, from Strada Bianca on Strava. It's very exciting. Now, obviously, we're going to go through it. We're going to go through it properly with the normalized power and look at everything and just see how strong the boy was, what it's required to uh, win Strada Bianca, just in terms of the power. Uh, so, well, as you can see, we've got the Strava Source app, uh, plugin from Chrome extension, and uh, it gives us a normalized, it gives us TSS, etc., etc. So, yeah, it's really good to see. So, anyway, uh, the headline stats, I guess, 186K, 4 hours 45. So, not a crazy long race, but, you know, decent, decent length. Um, normalized power of 390 watts, which is really, really, really big. And we'll go into that more because, obviously... You know, you might think, oh, maybe, you know, it's skewed by the end, but it was actually quite a hard race all between. Threshold is obviously significantly higher um, than 400 watts. Uh, five and a half thousand kilojoules burnt, which is huge. So anyway, we'll get into the stats right away. So this is more, I guess, again, we've got the same stats up here. Um, his weight, I'm not 100% sure. But we just go through like the first, you know, maybe 60K or something just to see like 344 normalized, like, that's not easy, okay, it's not impossible, but like, you know, on the climbs, he's riding at like 5.8 watts per kilo, which, okay, is probably like around threshold or below for him, Um, but, you know, it's not easy. On the longest climb of the day, which is like 5.6 kilometers, goes up to the highest altitude, Um, it's, pr it's not too hard, but towards the top, it gets pretty tough, it's about 6 watts per kilo, I think, for the last like 5 minutes or so, or 4 minutes, so again, like, pretty hard, but nothing like bonkers, it's more the final part, which is really, really huge so i quite like looking at this the peak normalized power just to see when the really hard parts were so you can see the five minutes okay it's not the most necessarily important thing to look at the normalized like 5 30 for but you can see like this is where one of the decisive moves were made this is when everyone started attacking um into the running uh it's one of the gravel sections here and um yeah no it's just like this this steep part here is like nine percent and does you know 556 watts which is 7.4 watts per kilo and I think before we go further, I think the watts per kilo aren't too important because he's a bigger guy. The watts per kilo are never going to be mental just because he doesn't need to do the same watts per kilo as like a small climber. Like if this was Bernal, he might be doing like 450 and like, or maybe like eight watts per kilo here instead of 7.5, just because he's smaller. So obviously on gravel, you've got higher rolling resistance. So you need actually just more absolute power. So from sort of then on, you'd say that the race really starts to kick off. We look at the rest of it. We got the, these all come towards the end of the race. Uh, but one of the headline facts was actually an hour and a half was um, 440 normalized. So we look here, that's an hour and 53 was 433. Um, an hour was that. But if we find an hour and a half, sorry, it should be about here. Uh, 440 normalized for an hour and a half at the end of the race. And that, that, my friends, is bonkers. 440 normalized is very, very strong. But for an hour and a half, I just, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I analyzed um, Ghana's numbers, and they were big. They were like 470, 450, I think. No, it's 450 for the last hour. And I was like, that's huge. But Ghana's a big boy. He's like, what, 85 kilos? This, I think, is the most crazy numbers I've ever seen. Just in terms of, like, pure threshold, like, 440 normalized for an hour and a half is just bonkers. Like, 440 for five minutes is bonkers. For an hour and a half, it's just like, what? How? Like... Okay, it's hilly and stuff. And, like, he's not the smallest of guys, but it's just crazy. He burnt, on average, th th like, 1,350 kilojoules an hour. That is huge energy consumption just to be able to go. But we're going to look at when it comes to the final sort of selection. So that was one of the, that was one of the main selections where, you know, Bernal, that 7 watts per kilo-ish, uh, was, was about 40, 40k to go. But the real decisive one which split the race, um, just came up with about what was it, like a um, 15k to go or so, um, and it's this really steep climb here, and you can see the minute is perfect, 740 watts for 16% up this climb, so what happens is, it's actually the last gravel sector, they come in down here, it's like a downhill, and it's this steep uh, climb with a hairpin in it, and that's when he went and dropped everyone apart, he actually dropped everyone, Alaphilippe managed to get back on, and same with Burnout afterwards, but you can see here, 10 watts per kilo, which sounds obviously very impressive, and it is. But it's, again, this surge, which he's so good at. He did 900 watts close to for 20 seconds. And this is the thing that I want to get into, and we're going to see at the end, is that he's so good at riding at a crazy power, like, obviously, massively anaerobic, and then go harder and do that surge, which is just, like, so, so hard to do. And then, okay, so after that... They rolled into the finish. And when I say rolled in, they did 440 normalized. So you can see, like, okay, it's obviously a lot easier, but he's not soft tapping. Like, on this bit here, he's doing 464 watts up this uh, paved climb. 
Uh, so it's, again, it's not like in the super easy. Then there's the drop into the line through Sienna. Um, so 56k an hour, 250 watts. So that's still sort of like half pedaling, but not really. Um, and then into the fin final for Piazza del Campo. And if we look at the whole, the whole sort of finish here, 500 watts for three minutes, which is obviously very, very impressive. Like there's no denying that, but it's not absolutely crazy. Um, but what is crazy, obviously you can already see is the ridiculous attack. Um, so like before the attack here, he's just riding like 450, so six watts per kilo, 31K an hour, 5%. So pretty like, you know, not, not messing around is what I'm trying to say. And then you can see here, it starts to, they sort of look at each other. It goes down to 350 for like 20 seconds. And then there's a 40 second part, which just is different level. So this is like the 20 seconds where he was basically like following Alaphilippe. Uh, and it's like eight watts per kilo for 20 seconds. And then he's like, oh no, I've got more in the tank and just launches it. And when I say he launches it, I mean 17 seconds at over 1,056 watts. 23k an hour of a 16% gradient is just crazy. With a peak of like 1362, yeah, it's bonkers, man. Like, it's something I've never seen anything in my power data, apart from Vanderpool and Amstel Gold, which is also ridiculous. But the way that he can just go so hard and then just, like, hard, and then just like, nah, I've still got more to attack over the top is crazy. Like, if you think, like, what Alaphilippe has to do for 14 watts per kilo, like, it's just, it's mental how many watts, like, they'd all have to do to do it. And he also is a super high cadence. When he attacks out the salad, it's like 100 cadence. It's not like he's, like, grinding at the end. Super, super fresh. And then, I mean, that was where he made the difference. He made the difference here. And then on the run to the line, he did 380 watts. But you can see here, look how twisty it is, et cetera, et cetera. Like, that's the, the final climb, the turn. And then it goes into Piazza del Campo, which is here, so... The GPS is a bit dodge. Actually, no, that is correct because it's not really actually a road, which is why it doesn't show up. Um, so yeah, that is Matthew Vanderpoel's power file for Stradivianca. Absolutely crazy. Um, if we'll just go through the peak normalized just once more, 20 minutes at 474 watts, which is the last bit. And yeah, but mental in it. <laughs> just bonkers. I've, ne I've never seen anything like it. I don't think I ever will see anything like it unless he posts like data from maybe for when he wins worlds this year or something. Um, we'll get something similar. But yeah, absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video. And we'll see you in the next one.